let me all right this is the topic is holistic jain spirituality comprehensive approach to ahimsa diet health and environment why i selected this topic because most of the time we have a tendency oh we are heavily ahimsa oriented okay ahimsa is the main and only things for jainism but my spiritual progress it doesn't work only on ahimsa i have to be healthy okay without healthy i cannot do meditation i cannot maintain my equanimity okay and the environment what i live it has to be also pure i can so jainism don't just tell you you do only one thing and ignore others okay that's what we have been doing it and here is the topics what i'm trying to show you that what holistic approach to the spirituality and we are holistic okay we are not only spiritually progress only on ahimsa and compassion and not and eat any junk food we want to okay or environment we are destroying our environment all right that is also going to be hurting lot more so what we want to know really show you that how you can balance everything properly and that's why you can live in the healthy spiritual environment a insight and compassion your diet has to be pure diet healthy and you live in a nice environment okay means health wise okay and pedance you make sure you do tap properly external and internal taps okay all the things combined you do it you don't just heavily do it one and ignore others or pay very little importance to others that's the things uh, comprehensive mean analyzing the whole system of jain beliefs and practices with respect to ahimsa compassion diet and so on and so forth okay and let's see what we can you know look into it guidelines of practicing of ahimsa so i'm taking each topic okay and i'll show you what it is non violence is the highest principle of jain religion however the life cannot exist without violence our life when i say life means human life cannot exist without violence because we need food we need shelter okay the food shelter these are the must we must follow now when you have a two contradicting principles the non violence says you cannot do okay any violence but if the life is not there if i cannot survive my life then what good the principle is when i am not able to survive okay so what they are saying okay hence for our existence and i am talking about for our healthy existence okay means food and shelter we must follow the part of minimum violence now how do you define minimum violence that is the most important things okay some people have a tendency oh when i do one sense killing it is the same as any other living being i kill okay no that is not the way the jain rule is okay and 
I am be be attentive, be understand what Jain rules are, and think about it, reflect on it, and then make sure that you properly understand it. In practical life, you are doing it anyway, but only in the religion we do all kinds of stuff, okay, argument. We, what we do, we do, we argue. Oh, this is the same thing, but no, here is the significant number. And that is not that many numbers and that kind of the argument. So anyway, uh, let me go, go to the chart and just you can listen. The basic principle of minimum violence. Now this one, you have to be very attentive. The degree of violence inflicted when I do any action, violence is going to occur, okay? Even if I drink a glass of water, the, all the living beings of water is going to get killed. In, in reality, I'm killing them when I drink a glass of water, okay? Even when I breathe the air, there are significant number of living beings are killed by breathing. All right, doesn't mean I'm not going to, I'm going to stop breathing. Okay, so what they are saying here, violence to a living being, which has more sense, five, four, three, or more senses, I mean, okay, five, four, three, two, one. In this order, is more sinful act than thousands of one sense living beings. Thousands anand, or infinite, whatever it is. So if you have to hurt or kill one five sense living being, and on the other side, no, you have infinite one sense being the violence to the five sense, one five sense is a lot more than the other one. And that this is the same rule, violence from five, four, five to four, four to three is less, three to two is less, and two to one is less. And when, 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 we, when Jainism talks here this way, even with one two sense is more than thousands of one cents, okay, or millions of one cents in reality, okay. So that's the one is more sinful than the thousands of one cents living beings. Violence to a living being which has more senses also has a greater impact on environment. Who is destroying our environment? We, human beings, are the highest destroyer of the environment, okay? Then the five senses means cows and animals, all, all one. There's the second one, like animal farming, okay? But when you go to less and less number of sense living beings, they don't destroy the environment as much. Okay, so that's the second rule we are putting. The order of violence, okay, violence to human being is the highest. Then animals, then bird, then insect. Now, these things are the visible, okay. Human beings, you can see it. Animals, you can see it. Birds, you can see it. Insects, the visible insect, we are talking here, okay? Now, invisible, like bacteria. Of course, bacteria is visible under microscopes and everything, but under for a practical, see, Jainism is a very practical religion, but sometimes, no, we take it to the extreme, okay? 
all right the bacteria it's a two sense and that's why you cannot eat granted i'm not i'm not disputing but that's not a practical things to say because the bacteria invisible bacteria carries very minimum sin even if you use them compared to any visible one like human animals birds and you no know, insect all right so of course bacteria is higher than even one sense you no know, one sense beings is the vegetables which are vegetables water air earth and fire so keep that thing in the mind this is the rules okay since life can survive by consuming one sense living beings jainism believes in vegetarianism even though vegetables have innumerable or infinite living beings which are killed for our survival humans need food and shelter for their survival so keep that things in mind everything has sin committed with it but that's a very minimum compared to one five sense animal or human being if you hurt for your survival okay means to use you are exploiting them as long as you can survive with fruits and vegetables and grains and beans okay you don't have to take any food derived from animals okay that is the highest sin according to jain principle and if you want to live with the minimum violence then that is the minimum violence live on vegetables fruits vegetables grains and beans that is the key principles of jainism all right and that's why we are vegetarian in a sense. all right now i know that will raise a lot of questions in your mind and we will handle that questions in question answer today and tomorrow you know remaining <laughs> now jain diet follow the path of minimum violence now order of degree of violence again violence or exploitation to human beings is the first order sin like child labor child labor it is the highest crime or any other human being exploited like slaves i'm talking we don't have any more slave slave systems we abolished it and we know the history in america all all all, all that kind of the things but in the past if you read the history you know the child laborers and the slaves things that is the highest crime in the sin from jain point of view also Um, no beyond animals even okay because why is it so human being has a free mind independent mind grown up mind they are very close to liberation if they put no proper effort in the proper direction so the any species which is close to liberation don't use it those species for your survival as long as you can find you can survive with the lower senses and we can easily survive with fruits and vegetables and you no know, vegetarian product that which is a one sense they are a long way for liberation so we that one carries a minimum uh violence eating and using for our survival okay 
violence to five sense animals, second order sin. First is the human, no exploitation to child, no exploitation to other human beings, like a slave type, and you, you, take, you hire them, and then you overwork them, okay? Taking you no know, significant advantage of that. That is the highest crime, that is the highest you know, sin. We are committing, we are acquiring the highest you know, karma because of that, okay? The second one is violence to five sense animals, which is the second order sin. The food prepared by exploiting and killing the animals. Okay, when you use the word exploiting or killing, again, you've got to keep that thing in the mind. It is any animal food, it is being exploited, the animals. And we will, we will go through each and every questions you will have. Okay, and we will be able to analyze that one. But right now we are talking meat, milk, cheese, butter, sweets, ice cream, fish, chicken, eggs, etc., which are not a vegetarian product. That's the second highest after human being. That is the highest one, okay? Then, violence to the four, three, two sensed, visible movables, okay? We should avoid in that order then, if we are not able to get the vegetarian product or anything, okay? Then the order of degree of violence, highest to the lowest again, violence to invisible two-sensed uh, beings such as bacteria, which is the fourth order, and violence to one-sensed being, which is the minimum violence, fifth order, which is water, fire, air, earth, pratyek vegetables, which has an innumerable souls. Every pratyek vegetables, even small leaf, has an innumerable soul. And then the root vegetables, which has an infinite souls, okay? But they are all one sense. Uh, root vegetables or pratyek vegetables. And that's the order of the violence, you know, what you are seeing. Usage of invisible two sense and one sense being should be minimum for our healthy survival. So that is the thing. Waste is violence. Anytime you waste any vegetables, that one is the violence. Because unnecessarily you are killing those one sense which was not needed. And you cooked it and you did not use it. That was the reason I'm saying okay, that's the one what you have done in, in that area. So it is not like, oh, oh, I can know uh, because there's some minimum violence. Uh, let me you know, eat it and throw away the rest of the product because here you don't have a poor guy you know, waiting outside on the street and you give them what, what we do it in India. All right. Here we have a bigger responsibility. We generally don't prepare more uh, than what we can use, all right? So that is the point I'm trying to go you. So you understand the concept now, okay? What I'm trying to say, okay, watch. At least I'm not saying you agree. I want you to understand first the, the, these five, these concept, the order and how so that you can make the decision in a difficult places also. Okay, what should I do under this environment? You just follow these rules. If you don't find vegetables, let's say you went to Alaska and there is no green vegetables available at the time or seasons, no, that's what you want. Then you go to the invisible bacteria, then go to the two cents. That is how you survive, okay? But generally, you will find something of the lower order, okay? But that doesn't mean when you come back, 
oh, that's the one you look for it. Okay, this is less than me, so I'm going to use that one. No, that is not, as long as something else is available. Okay, so that is the point here I'm talking for normal circumstances like either we are in India or in America or any other European countries or African countries, generally you do find fruits and vegetables and uh, for our healthy survivals, no grains and beans and all that one, and you only use that, okay? Some unusual circumstances, that's where you use the rules. Otherwise, at least you have the rules. Okay. Jain food must be conducive to ahimsa, environment, health, and spiritual upliftment. One should not consume any food that can create violence within. Now, this is another criteria. Even if it is a vegetarian food, all right, it could be the vegetarian food. But if certain food that consumes, uh, uh, that creates violence within, okay? Like if you, you, if you use too much onion, I'm trying to just say, okay? The tamsik prakruti food, all right? Or if you take drugs, which are all vegetarian in a sense, okay? But what happens when you take the drugs? You lose your control, yourself. You lose your control over mind. You are not able to decide right from wrong. Those kind of the food is not accepted even in vegetarian. You know, some people say, well, beer is a pure vegetarian. Joe Spani, all right? What's wrong with it in the Jainism? The thing is, because the tendency is you are going to lose your own control. Decision-making power, right from wrong. Once your decision-making power is lost during that time period when you are drinking, then any samyaktva you have acquired is all gone. That is the highest crime. Because what is samyaktva? You decide right from wrong. That is the samyaktva. You know the living beings and non-living beings. And the non-living beings versus the living beings and you, once you lose that control over it, then that product is also not allowed, okay? One should not eat any food that involves violence to a movable living beings, which we already discussed it, okay? Don't take any food which has the violence to living beings. Not to consume punished or no nutrition value in the food such as the junk food, okay? Junk food is a food. It could be vegetarian food. Any fried food, deep fried food, it's all junk food. Any, there is no nutrition left. When you cook the food at 400 degrees centigrade, that's the oil temperature. At 400 degrees, there is no nutrition left. What is left? Taste. All right. Now, when you eat junk food in your body, the body has to work to digest. But he, the, after working, all the hard working, the body is not going to get any nutrients. You are violent to yourself because you force your body to do the work for nothing. That's the violence. That is the violence. But oh, it is my body. No, it is not your body. You are soul. You are not the body. Don't you know, try to flip-flop 
all the time argument all right you because once your body becomes miserable unhealthy then you cannot do meditation remember the without this healthy body you cannot become a spiritual person that's given now if you are suffering from diseases you cannot do it all right let me go to the next one not to consume anupshreya which is not a food okay like drugs and tobacco no you may find same thing again repeating here and there depending upon the condition all right but at least you know what it means that you no know, hence eat only healthy strict vegetarian food and does not have a significant detrimental side effect on the food like drugs liquor and junk food no people don't even think every jain functions every party you know you see it on a jain like mahavir jayanti is and you now there is a, a to this time is not going to be happening because we are not getting together coming together otherwise there is a you no know, all the food things what you do is significant number is a junk food so what are we doing okay this is the kind of the things because people are not familiar of it nobody is teaching this one it, that is the most important things you know, unless and until you know you do it okay and let me see what happened so this is just a consume only healthy vegan food food should not obtain with the minimum destruction uh, should be obtained with the minimum destruction of environment consume minimum for healthy survival eat little less than hunger and in a uh, in a day and good health i think i can stop here okay and for practicing proper meditation that's the only way you can do proper meditation all right all right so we will take it from this chart tomorrow okay because there's a long charts you no know, we have to do it and there will be long